Little after 10.30 here in upstate New York, right by West Point. Matter of fact, uh, speaking on leadership tomorrow at West Point, uh, well, you're going to see this way after tomorrow. But we did a rehearsal dinner tonight. It was really good. I was going through over and over and over the speech. Um, just got, got through going over it a few more times. I think preparation is very, very important. But uh, it is it's an honor. I mean, literally, I'm going to be sharing the stage with uh, Colonel Buzz Aldrin. I mean, former astronaut, you know, West Point graduate. He was the second guy right after Neil Armstrong to walk on the moon. I'm actually going to be sharing the stage with this guy. This is huge. And then also uh, Lieutenant General Honoré. He was the general that uh, helped evacuate New Orleans after Katrina. And obviously, he's done more things than that. But I mean, it's just an honor to be able to share the stage with these guys. Leadership is kind of fancy in some areas and it's kind of, and it sucks sometimes. Here's what I mean by that, here's what I mean. You know, leaders see things the way they could be and then they make them that way. And what happens though is when you're in the process of doing that, people don't like it or a lot of people don't like it. The people maybe following them might not like it um, because they don't understand because they can't see the entire vision. Our featured speaker is the best-selling author of higher life design. He's also helped start a company in the leisure travel space that does a high nine figures per year in revenue, spanning 28 countries around the world by helping people live their lives with more fun, freedom, and fulfillment. This is a man who lives full time. Please welcome my good friend, someone who I greatly admire, Mr. Jefferson Santos. You gotta make a commitment first. And so the four things are commitment, display the courage, and then get, get a new capability, then you have the confidence. That's the result. So my son, he's four and a half years old now, about two years ago, he started swimming. And we had this commitment. He, did, he really didn't have the commitment. Well, we had the commitment as parents <laughs> to help him learn how to swim. So that was the first thing, commitment, right? The second thing is immediately he had to display courage. Okay, and that wasn't fun, but he was doing it. He was crying, snot nose, swallowing water, holding on the side of the pool, but he was learning how to swim even though it didn't feel good. And I saw that courage displayed in what he was doing. And here's what happened though. After he displayed a period of courage, which we all know as we do in business and our life and our, our relationships, we go through that period, but then boom, we make it through there and then we have a new capability. When you're leading a group of people and they start chiding in the camps and they're, you know, maybe saying things or whatever, they don't understand the full vision. So really you gotta take responsibility to actually really explain and articulate the vision of the whole picture of where you're trying to go so they understand versus just step one or step two because they don't think it makes sense. But when you string it all together, then they get it. So I think, I think one of the things that's key here is to be able to talk about how Communication is important, displaying courage is important because we're setting an example. One of the things that I, I learned being here is once again, you know, leaders are students first. I learned a lot from some of the other people that I met, met some great relationships, and I had a chance to give back as far as things that I've learned that I'm passing out down to other people that have you know, helped me and helped other people. And I think that we want to be, like John C. Maxwell says this, we want to be a river, not a reservoir. You know, river meaning things are, you know, th things are coming to you, but they're flowing through you. Being able to learn it twice and give back and just pass it on versus holding on to everything and being like a, a dirty lake that has no outlet, so to speak, right? And so sometimes if we don't give of information and, and give of ourselves, we kind of have that feeling, at least I do, I'm just speaking from my opinion. Um, that usually happens with most people when they don't you know, pay it forward and give back. So it was a great time, great learning experience, and to be able to speak at West Point was a big, big deal.